On Pro-C controllers, you will find the two AC terminals in the upper left-hand corner marked AC1 and AC2. The sensor terminals will either be right above the AC terminals or towards the bottom in the case of the newer Pro-C's. On X-Core controllers, the power terminals will be on the far left marked 24 VAC and the sensor terminals right next to the battery compartment marked SIN. In the case of the I-Core controllers, the power terminals are located in the bottom row of the first block of screws and are marked AC1 and AC2. Across the top, you will find that each set of sensor terminals is identified as S1 and S2. And in the case of the metal version of the i controllers, you'll even have a third set of sensor terminals, S3. When it comes to ACC controllers, the power terminals are the set of screws marked 24 VAC and COM for common. The sets of sensor terminals are also identified as S1, S2, S3, and S4. As you can see, the ACC offers up to four sensor inputs. If you are connecting the module to a non-Hunter controller that does not have sensor inputs, you can interrupt the common wire with the white wires. This will interrupt the valves when the soil is wet, even though the controller will still think it is watering. If we need more information, consult the owner's manual or look us up at hunterindustries.com for more support. And thanks for watching.